All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got a fight going down Saturday. And I want to talk about this. This is between the current IBF super lightweight junior welterweight champion, Sabriel Mateus. He has 20 wins, one loss, no draw with all 20 of his wins coming by way of knockout. The one time he lost in his career, he lost a unanimous decision to uh, Petros Anayan, and he came back and got a stoppage. And I think it was about the sixth or seventh round he got a stoppage. So he avenged that, man, wiped the slate, and he is that guy at the lightweight, the boogeyman at the super lightweight division. Now, he will be taking on Liam Paro. I believe that's how you say his name, man. One of you guys correct me. Liam Paro. In his last fight, he fought Montana Love. Um, and he got a stoppage over Montana Love. Now, I want you guys to understand something about Montana Love is um he's not the best fighter. He doesn't get off super quick, but Liam Paro, he he it seemed like he just played to the competition a little bit in that fight. He didn't get off quick, but once he got it going. Once he started clicking, he started firing those bombs. He dropped them, came right back, double jab, boom, with a uh, cross, dropped him again, and he got back up, and he just got right back on top of him and got him out of there. So the kudos to him for that fight. Liam Paro, just so uh, I, I, I'm being, you know, I forgot. I don't know if I said it. He's 24 wins, no losses, no draw, with fi uh, 15 wins by way of knockout. Definitely a skilled fighter. Definitely a good fighter, and this will be a good fight and challenge for Sabriel Matias. Now, we know what Sabriel Matias brings to the table. Um, he's looking for the knockout. He, he's he's going to butter you up, and then he's going to go for the kill. Uh, definitely one of my favorite fighters at the light, super lightweight division, junior worthweight division. Um, I fully expect him to come out victorious in this fight um, and look to make a title unification with the winner of Isak Pitbull Cruz, hoping that it's Isak Cruz, we can get that Puerto Rico Mexico rivalry going down there, and uh, Jose Valenzuela, you know, you, you can start something up there. Um, the only other fighter that Sabrio Matias did say that he feels he can just get on top of and get him out of there is uh, Tiafimo Lopez. Uh, he he called for that fight before. Tiafimo Lopez, he's currently scheduled to go into a fight against Steve Claggett. Not the best fight, not the fight that we want to see Tiafimo in. I guess that's, you know, what is that, like a mandatory for him or something? Well, who cares? We don't want to see that fight. Now, I think with inside of seven rounds, man, I think Sabrio Matias will separate himself inside of seven rounds, but I think it might take him up to about 10 rounds to get this done. Um, I've seen some video clips of Liam Paro training. He looks good. We, we won't knock him on that. He looks good. He looks fresh. He looks ready. Um, let's just hope that all goes well. They both make the weight, and we can get this fight on the road, ladies and gentlemen. So with that being said, June uh, June 15th, this will be on live on the zone. So if you don't know the, the pay-per-view for Javante Tank Davis, that'll be live the same day, but on pay-per-view Amazon Prime. This one will be live on the zone, no pay per view, I believe, and I can't wait to see it. I'm gonna be tuning in to both fights. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely have my computer playing one of the fights, and then my TV playing the other fights. So y'all, let me know, man, what y'all think about this fight? Who do you think is gonna win? I did do a video on this a while back. You guys made that video blow up, so make this video blow up too. I thank you guys. Peace.